Steve Gray and MK, you are now cleared for flight school takeoff. Four, Four three, two, two one. one. Zero. Okay, here we go. HB is going to take over flight school today, and he's going to teach you how to make the most of the four day blitz. Happy Memorial Day, folks. Remember and honor the folks that fought in the wars for us. Stay connected with the WhatsApp community, iBoomNation.com. Go there, fill out the information, and Telegram, search at iBoomerang, and click join. What do the main leaders want for their birthdays? Boom Foundation donations. Go to the BoomFoundation.com or your back office and click auto ship. Every little bit helps the kids. So, we have no birthdays this month. Still go to the back office and click auto ship. Chargebacks. If you charge back, you will be terminated. However, you can go to iboomhub.com forward slash downloads and download the multiple use credit card form. However, you need to take your credit card information out of their back office when auto ship runs the next month. That's how chargebacks occur. Do not give your funds to anyone for trading. iBoomerang will not be held responsible for your loss of funds. Cross recruiting and switching teams is not allowed. It is grounds for termination for both the switcher and the sponsor. This is your break. You are a personal star achiever, 300 PQD, dual team qualified, one left, one right, 10 elevate customers, 1500 QD, that all adds up to 1800 PQV. This is your basic building block of success in your iBoomerang business. CEO Circle, 10 Elevate customers, and you can go to Accelerate, Vision, and Dream Weekend. However, you must be qualified for three months in advance. CEO Corner, 25 Elevate customers, all live and virtual events, including Elevate Boot Camps, but you must be qualified for three months in advance. The Leadership Mastery event in Cancun does not qualify. Rank up. Training call recordings are on ivanpub.com. And if you're not using rank up, tell me why not. Uh, and then the YouTube playlist is live at youtube.com forward slash iBoomerang. And it's right at the top, folks. iBoom rank up presentations by your top leaders. Log into rank up, click prospecting videos, grab the link and send it. However, you need to match the prospect with the presenter. And again, Profit Snatcher testimonies are now in Rank Up. Log into Rank Up, click Prospecting Videos, click Profit Snatcher Testimonials, grab the link and send it, and you still need to match up the presenter with the prospect. Travel and Trade Corner, we like to call her d -Lo, Doris Lopez, and that is on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Cruise your way to the top to qualify and roll at least two new ambassadors and five new customers at any level, affiliate, executive, and CEO pack, and get entered into the contest. Five cruises in total, top three will win a cruise. Then there will be two random drawings for anyone who got two new ambassadors and five new customers. This ends on June 30th. Introducing the Elevate Private Coaching Program, Shamin, Deanna, G Money, Jonathan, Marcus, and Luis. These are all top-notch profit coaches that have mastered trading. Trade Buddy Lounge, live trading with the best profit coaches, and you need a Trade Buddy subscription, and people are making money in the Trade Buddy Lounge. Send us your Profit Snatcher wins and Trade Buddy video testimonials. Send your Elevate and Trade Buddy testimonials to ProfitSnatchers at Elevate.com for the written, and then TradeBuddyTestimonials.com for Elevate and Trade Buddy testimonial videos. Profit Snatchers monthly schedule. Profit Snatchers America every first and third Wednesday of the month, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Profit Snatchers Europe, second and fourth Thursday of the month, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time and 9 p.m. UK time. Tree Buddy Elevate call Tuesdays, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. And Shamim Agahi, master trader, incredible coach, 
and he will help you understand how to utilize Trade Buddy to maximize your profits and, and spot leadership mastery in Cancun, Mexico. It's June 29th through the 30th. It's regularly $1,249.99. It's a savings of 500. Now it's only $749.99. And this is going to be off the charts. That's it, folks. This is the only call today, Saturday, May 25th. MK coming to you from the flight deck. All right. That was awesome. Thank you again for doing that. I love the fact you do that every week. It keeps us on time. All right. Again, one more time. We want to say we want to take this opportunity to remember and honor those who have fought for us in the armed forces. Uh, we appreciate the, the impression for uh, fighting for our precious freedoms. It's Memorial Day weekend here in the United States. And uh, we just, again, we want to honor those who have served uh, and those who have fallen. Um, so thank you so much for uh, for your for your service in our behalf. Thank you so much. All right, it's the gold zone, folks. It's the gold zone. It's the gold zone. Remember, we are really working these zones. We split the month up into zones. The first ten days are the white zone. That's massive exposure. Uh, the second uh 10 days of the month is the blue zone what is the mass what is the blue zone massive sponsoring and then what is the gold zone which is where we are the 21st to the 30th massive volume massive volume so that's where we are you want to be thinking massive volume right now everybody put massive volume in the chat because that's what we're focused on and whatever we focus on expands so what do we focus on during the goal zone we focus on IPAs. What's an IPA? An income producing activity, right? So this is where we uh, focus on things that will ring the cash register, focus on activities that satisfy the comp plan and help you win. What is that? That's enrollments, that's subscriptions, that's upgrades, right? So now is the time to be following up like a beast. That's right. That's where the fortune is in the follow-up. There are people who've seen a presentation and who haven't made a decision and need additional exposures. You're going to bam fam them, book a meeting from a meeting, keep rolling them to the next thing until they make a decision. Why? Because it's not complete until you collect a decision. That person becomes an ambassador. That person becomes a customer. Next slide. That person gives you a referral. Next slide, sir. And um, and so that's where you want to focus. You want to focus on the people who have not made a decision yet. You also want to look for team members who came in at the lower levels, who's at the affiliate level, who's at the executive level and needs to upgrade to either executive or CEO even better. How do you do that? You show them the value of the higher packs right what is the value you get more access to more products and services you also earn more money for doing the same work right if you're going to do the work you might as well get paid the most you can get for it right and that's why you want to be at the ceo pack okay we have new ambassador orientation on mondays not this monday because we're doing something special and that's where you show the power of the plan but you can do a special one for your new people all right also, everybody should be working a plan for the month, right? We started out with the leaders, the leaders who come and worked out with you guys, what your plan is for the month. Now is the time to crunch it, right? Now is the time to really press to accomplish your goal for the month. Is your goal director? Well, we got the remaining 10 days of the remaining end of the month now to lock that down, okay? We got five, six days left in the month. Is your goal senior director? Is your goal executive director? Maybe your goal for this month was Sapphire. That's what we're pressing for to get this done. Some of you, your goal isn't necessarily rank advancement. Some of you, your goal is a rank requalification. Great, press to requalify that rank 
the in the remaining time of the month. The end of the month should be crazy every single month with people pressing to achieve their goals, okay? So that's what you want to do. And when you do it right, when you work the goal zone right, you could literally do three to four times the volume that you did in the first 20 days of the month. Yes, I've seen it happen over and over and over again, thanks to the coaching and teaching from Mr. Bugs. So welcome to the Goal Zone, everybody. It's so exciting. The energy is up. People are out there working it. All right. Let's talk about Trade Buddy. Yes. Let's talk about Trade Buddy. Oh, okay. So Trade Buddy, week of 520, uh, May, May 20th through the 24th. No, <laughs> it's the 20th. Yeah, okay, this this week, these are this is Trade Buddy's results for the week, and Trade Buddy had another rocking week, right, Mark? Look at that. Yep, absolutely. So, gold five trades, four wins, one loss, maximum pips 447. If you uh did the 20 pips, it, it would be yeah, so the win rate is 80%. Uh, GJ, nine trades, eight wins, one loss, maximum pips, 463. Win rate was 89%. You had seven trades, six wins, one loss, max pips, 207. Win rate, 81%. Total, uh, 21 trades, eight wins, three losses. Win rate, 86%. Max pips, if you let it run, 1,117 pips. All right. All right. So look at that. 86%. 86%. That is in freaking sane. All right. So way to go, Trade Buddy. Who's got Trade Buddy? Who's got Trade Buddy? Did anybody take any of these Trade Buddy trades this week? Did anybody catch any of these winners this week? Vita Wooten. She's got some. Mike South got some of that. Leo Casa got some of that. Awesome. Diana Hardy. Got some of that. Rita Jacobson, she got some of that. Donnie Pips, we know you got some of that. Dan Hansen, he likes to get the GJ trades. He got that. Kelly Haupu, she got some of that. Brendan Berry, he got some of that. Lewis Barnes, he got some of that. Trade Buddy win, those Trade Buddy Pips. FX Rich, we know you got some of that. Way to go, you guys. Congratulations to everybody who's on Trade Buddy. And remember, Trade Buddy can turn your learning curve into a what? Earning curve. curve. You can earn <laughs> while you learn. All right, Carolyn Johnson, CJ, I see you on Facebook. She got some of that. OC Williams got some of that. Way to go, you guys. Fantastic. All right, speaking of Elevate, Monday, we've got Elevate United with special guest, head of the Elevate Profit Coaches, Jason Grigg himself that's tomorrow monday no not tomorrow monday two days from now 4 p.m central all right and okay. we rolled out something new two mondays ago private coaching with your elevate coaches you can book a private session a private coaching session with deanna shamim g money marcus jonathan lewis and more coming soon so that is super exciting Okay, here's something that you have been asking for. You've been begging for this. You guys are about to get crazy excited. We have officially launched the ability for a customer to upgrade to an ambassador. I'm gonna stop for a second and see y'all go crazy in the chat. Mm -hmm. An easy way, you don't have to have customer support release their email address anymore. You don't have to have them create another email. It is now an easy way for customers to upgrade to Ambassador, okay? So you're going to want to screenshot this. Mark and the team are going to send you some emails. Look for it. Save it, okay? So you're not messaging me saying, how we do this again? All right, so I'm going to show you on the screen how we do it. I'm actually going to slow down a minute because some of you guys are going to be doing this this week, all right? Okay, number one. I don't know if you know this, but customers have a mini back office. Did y'all know that? Customers have a mini back office where they can control their credit card, where they can control their subscriptions, et cetera. That's where they're going to go 
to upgrade. So how do they do it? They go to Powered by iGo. That is step one, all right? Step two is they have to log in. Up top, it's going to say, manage my account. And that's what's going to make that email password thing pop down. Manage my account. Most of the customers are not going to know their password. No worries. They're going to click forgot password, put in their email address. They're going to get a link where they can change their password. Okay. So now they're going to get logged in. When they get logged in, where they see their name, they just have to click on their name. They click on that little arrow next to their name, all right? And the little menu is going to show a few choices. And one of the choices is, dun, 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 upgrade to ambassador, okay? They click that, and then they follow the instructions. Now, what happens next is going to take them into the enrollment process where they will actually select their sponsor, I'm going to talk about that in a second. And they will select their pack, affiliate, executive, CEO pack. And boom, when it's all said and done, they will be an ambassador. Now, somebody said, what? Select sponsor? Correct. Remember, we keep customers with their original ambassador. But when they decide to become an ambassador themselves, all bets are off. Okay? So if you want to make sure your customer... Uh, if they become an ambassador, they stay your ambassador, make sure you're the one to tell them to do it, okay? But either way, it is now possible to do it. It's set up. Please stop messaging me about this. All right, cool. All right, what's coming next? Anybody want to know what we're working on next? Three for free. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. We're working on it. I had a big meeting about that yesterday. Three for free, coming soon. All right, that's that, Mark. Um, I think everybody's right. excited about that. I'm looking at the chats. Here's your way to the top. To qualify, enroll at least two new ambassadors and five new customers at any level. Exec affiliate executives are CEO pack, yet entered into the contest. Five cruises in total, top three when it cruise, two random drawings for anyone who got two new ambassadors and five new customers. Ends on June 30th. All right. Who's going on the cruise? Who is going on the cruise? Who's going? Who's going? Right? We extended this to, so that we could encompass this four-day uh, blitz coming up. And all you got to do, so you guys understand, everybody can win this. Do y'all understand that? Do y'all understand that everybody can win? Okay? Sponsored to five customers, and you're in the drawing. The top three get it automatically, and then we're going to draw two more for everybody who's in the drawing. So let's go and win the cruise. All right. Leadership who's now. coming to Mexico? <laughs> who's coming to Mexico with us? All right. Listen, everything rises and falls on leadership. Everything rises and falls on leadership. And I can't think of a better leader than our CEO, Mr. Holton Bugs. And he is doing a special leadership mastery masterclass in Cancun, Mexico, June 29 and 30. Normally, you have to have a certain rank achieved in order to attend the leadership mastery. However, for the first time in 20 years that I've known him, he is doing a leadership event and allowing people to self-identify. Meaning if you believe you're a leader or if you want to be a leader, if you believe you're going to be a leader in I Boomerang, you can come. All right. We did not raise the price of the tickets yet. Because it took a while to get the, the contract signed with the venue. So now that we have that done, you still have a last chance right now to get in this event for $749.99. This event will be life and business changing for you. This is not hype. This is fact. So if you are wavering, if you're undecided, now's the time to go ahead and make that decision to be at Leadership Mastery where you can learn from Mr. Bugs what it takes to be a leader. What is the difference between being a manager and a leader? What does it take? How do you get your group past 20 people? How do you get your pet group to explode past 100 people? It's going to be leadership, folks. 
And that's what you're going to learn in Cancun. All right. So if you don't have a ticket, you want to get there. Uh, somebody said it's back, the 999 pop, popped up in the back office. Don't worry. When Mr. Bucks comes on, I'll fix that for you. And it'll take me two seconds. I'll get it back to some 49.99 to you uh, okay. so that you can buy that ticket. Be the word. Bags packed by the door now. <laughs> Say it again. Bags packed by the door. Ah, he does. That's what I'm talking about. He already got a bags pack. All right. All right. All right. Okay. We've got something special coming up next week. We have come together with your presidential diamond, Darren Gibson, all of your black diamonds, Avinash Nagima, Desi Lipova, your blue diamonds, Jake Parton, Jackie and Jayla Pippins. Who the rest of my blue diamonds? Um, I'm, I'm drawing a, bl a blank. And the rest of your diamond force. And we have put together a crazy schedule. Even some of your top emeralds, Vita Wooten, uh, Frazier Grant, Elliot Ward, and Donnie Pips. And we put together a insane schedule of presentation opportunities next week for, for you to drive your business during the last part of the gold zone. This is it. Look at this, folks. This is insane. This is insane. And, and Mark, do, do me a favor. Let's republish this with yeah. those red highlights so the people can see. Right. Okay. So um, so that they can see 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 uh the, the prime time areas. Okay. So we designed this schedule so that it works well for Europe and it works well for North America. And of course, all the other time zones can can crash in as well. Okay. So you see there's a the time zone column for North America time zones, US Pacific time, Central time, Eastern time. And then you have Europe times, London time and Denmark time, right? And then you've got Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and the who's doing the presentation at that time. So let's start with Europe. If you're in Europe, your presentations start at noon, England time, right? So I'll just kind of give you an example of how it works. At noon, England time, 1 p.m. Denmark time, you got Diamond Marianne Schutz. At 2 p.m., just two hours later, you have another opportunity with Diamond Tier Edwards. At two hours after that, you got another opportunity with Diamond Vasil Kranoff. And two hours after that, we close the day in Europe with Black Diamond Desi Lipova. You guys see how this works? All right. If you're in the United States, Canada, South America, Mexico, here's what you've got. Your day, you can get in that early one if you want to, right? But right at 12 noon central, you've got Diamond Vasil Kranoff kicking off your day. Two hours later, you've got Black Diamond Desi Lipova. Two hours later, you've got Emerald Donnie Pips. And closing out the day on Monday at 8 p.m. central, you got Blue Diamond Jackie Pippen. So I wanted to make sure everybody understood how this works. I just went through Monday, but Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday work the same way. You see you've got uh, Presidential Diamond Darren Gibson on there. You've got me on there. We are going to work for you. You've got Blue Diamond Jake Parton on there. We're all on there so that we can help you rock. Mr. Bugs, when he comes on in just a couple of minutes, is going to show you how to turn this schedule into an explosion in your business, okay? We're going hard next week. We've canceled every other call next week with the exception of Elevate United. We've got no ambassador orientation, no travel and trade corner. Everything else is, ca is canceled for the week because we're focusing on this here because this is the income producing activity. So I'm going to get out of the way. We're going to go ahead and, and bring up Mr. Bugs. Now that we've let you guys know that this is what we're doing next week, he is going to show you exactly how to rock this thing. And if you give me just one hot minute here, we're going to do a proper introduction for the man himself. Here we go. Every once in a while, an expert emerges and completely changes the game. Someone who is a mentor to those who are willing to learn, a leader 
who does just that, leads. Someone who is the very definition of courage, the example of integrity, and an undeniable product of a strong work ethic. A man who leads by example and takes total responsibility. And now, he's being called one of the most influential men in our industry. The one, the only, Mr. Holton Bugs. Well, great morning, great afternoon, great night to everybody who's around right now. See all of these, this excitement that we have in the chat. Definitely exciting to see that. T. Gray, Mark, you guys do it again. Uh, I, I feel a little bit jealous right now because the entire time that we've been on this call, I have been trying to upload my background to my um, my goal zone background. And I'm sitting here looking at how, how gorgeous you guys look and, and um, it's letting me know that my software may be on my iPad. Maybe it's time for me to get a new iPad. It keeps keep saying... It won't let me upload, will not let me upload. But anyway, guys, so I'm actually here on my, uh, sitting on my patio having a, uh, a, a, great, uh, gr a great view here, uh, two great views. Obviously on my screen, I'm able to see, see T. Gray and see Mark, and, uh, and then obviously seeing some of the people that I see on here and all these names that we have on the screen here. Well, well ladies and gentlemen, it is incredible to see you guys. It is absolutely awesome to see what's happening, to see uh, all of this excitement that we have, the energy that's in the chat right now. I appreciate all the love of everyone. And um, it, it is, uh, it's great to be back here on flight school. I haven't been on flight school in quite some time. And, uh, but, uh, you know, we just finished up, uh, finished up, a, I don't want to say completely finished. We have one date that we're going to renegotiate and do another, uh, another tour stop over um, in, um, uh, down somewhere in, in uh, I think it's in North Carolina, we're going to do it. Yeah, North Carolina. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. But I can tell you this, guys, that the tour that I did, I don't think I've been on flight school since I've done the tour, but the tour was absolutely incredible. You know, obviously starting over in Copenhagen, over there uh, with Marianne and, and her organization over there, uh, that, that group of people there was great. Copenhagen is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it was a little cold, but I can tell you this: it's a beautiful, beautiful place, beautiful people, and it was really, really good to uh, to connect with all of our ambassadors that we have over there. Leaving there, going to London, over there with Jake uh, and the crew that we have over there. We had an incredible event over there as well. I obviously saw some some minds turn. You know what I mean by that is some people got the picture um, uh, when I went over there to uh, to London. All obviously as well all over in in Copenhagen was really, really hey, good. Uh, we had a packed house in both places. Numbers were really, really good. And uh, and obviously seeing people who came in from that, the result that came in from that, continuing to grow right now, uh, which is really, really Bugs, good. Sorry to interrupt uh, you. Went over um, to, uh, to San Diego, California with Kelly and, uh, and the crew over there as well. And I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Kelly always shows up. She shows out. Uh, we had a great venue. We had a, a great attendance, great number of guests, great sign-ups, and to see uh, that crew, we had great dinners on, on each of these here. We had great dinners afterwards. And uh, can you hear me? Yeah, you are. You have just a little uh, bit of a uh, crack We had great dinners up. there as well, great food, great conversation, and it was awesome. It was awesome, awesome to be there. Uh, went down, to, went down, go ahead. Gregor, sorry, to break, sorry to break up your flow. Your 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 uh your your sound is just a little bit crackly. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, we can hear you, but you're you're breaking up just a little bit, sir. All right, guys, if you can hear me, put something in the chat. Because T. Gray telling me I can't hear anything from T. Gray. T. Gray, you're muted. It's breaking up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, you may want to uh, cracking. Okay, you want to you may want to throw on your headphones. Inside, I'll go inside. Give me one second, guys. I'll go inside. All right, what I'll do is I'll go inside. I'm gonna go inside here real quick. It says I have full Wi-Fi, but hold on. 
All right. You guys hear me better now? Yes. All right. There we go. All right. They say they can hear me better now, which is good. Good, good, good. All right. Sounds like a winner. Um, all right. Let's see. Let me get everything back where we were. Okie doke. And I says clean my camera here. Give me one second. There we go. All right, I even look better than me right now. Okay, great. Here we go. Um, so let me pick right back up where I was, guys. I was talking about being over there in San Diego with Kelly and what we did and and how that event was. Um, great, great smiles, great people that was, that was over there. And then we went over to Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, obviously, when you've got the Jackie, Jayla, you've got Trey Hash that's over there and an entire crew that we have uh, who always host, host incredibly well. And I think we did three monster events that was over there. We did a huge executive luncheon, probably 42 people. Uh, that was at our executive luncheon. I believe somewhere in the neighborhood around 42, maybe 48 people. Could have been more than that. Uh, but uh, there was no salad uneaten. Every single table, every single seat was taken. And uh, we even had to create room towards the back for some of our ambassadors. Um, uh, we had a millennial event that, uh, that Jay Pippins put on that was completely packed. I don't know if we had enough seats for everybody who was there, uh, which was great. And then we did our main event on that Saturday as well. And, uh, so it was just, uh, it was great to have that type of energy taking place. Uh, obviously we went and had a celebration for all of those who brought, uh, I think it was four more guests and I uh, went to an incredible place, had a lot of fun. And uh, it's always great when I go down to Atlanta. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite places, uh, one of my favorite places to go. And uh, but it was it was just uh, insane to see what was happening there. And then the last stop happened to be in Indiana, all right, in Indiana. And obviously we had our president of the Diamond, uh, who hosted that, Mr. Darren Gibson. Uh, and obviously incredible venue, great show up. Uh, we had uh, a lot of other diamonds who participated in in in, in, um, in being there, and, but we had probably uh, we had so many guests. I think our guest to ambassador ratio was probably we probably had five guests for every ambassador that was there. And so, when you look at those type of numbers, it was uh, it was great. A lot of fun that took place, and then uh, some training took place after most of these events as well. And so it was really, really good, guys. Really good. Really good to see that. And my question is, who's next? Whose city is next? Who's raising their hand saying, you know what? I'm going to make sure HB does a tour stop in my city. And you're probably wondering, how do I do that? How is that even possible? I'm sitting here right now, and I've got two ambassadors on my team, but five of them quit. I know you're wondering, how does that math work, right? Um, and you're probably wondering that, okay, how do I do, how do I go from where I am now? How do I go from, um, you know, a network of, of, of 10 people, a network of 20 people or a network of no, 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 no people that me, uh, from the very beginning, just starting, maybe you just got started yesterday and you're sitting there wondering, here's what I want to share with you. I once was in your same position. I was once in your same position. There's not a person on this call right now that I wasn't where you were at some point in my career. Um, you know, and, and, and so what I'm saying is I can identify with every single position. You know, I remember when I had uh, got started and I wasn't brand new in the business, but I was probably about eight years into network marketing. Obviously you guys know the history of my first seven years. Uh, somebody says, come to Toronto, come to, come to uh, Spain. Um, hey, listen, you know what? Um, we've got I go. I get very expensive hotels and, and airline tickets, so uh, I can act get there. You do your part, I'll do my part. Um, but I remember being uh, somewhere around my eighth year in network marketing. And uh, my first seven years, obviously, guys, there was no money being made. And here I was, I uh, uh, going into my seventh year, going into my eighth year, started off with a bang, was start, started making some significant income. You guys know the story about that. You know, within 100 days, I'm at $20,000 a week of income. I'm really, 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 really excited about what was taking place. And that only lasted for about six months. It didn't. Why? Because it was just a new, exciting concept 
of, of, of a company, and here I am. I'm at twenty thousand dollars a week, and I just knew that the world was mine. I own the MLM world. Here is HP. HP's making this introduction. Nobody knew of HP back then. And so it wasn't like I was uh, this household name. There was no social media that was happening uh, back then. And so what happened is stories started to, to go out about, hey, this guy here went from, you know, $700, uh, I mean, $500 a month over a seven-year period of time. And that next thing you know, he's making $20,000 per week. How did that happen? Why did that happen? Let me share with you a couple of reasons why it happened. And I'll share with you how you go uh, from where you are, utilize what we've got coming up when we talk about this four-day blitz call that we have. And I want to give you also the thought process and mentality of how to go from where you are, from what I call the zero to a hero, okay? From the zero to a hero. And every single one of you have the capabilities right now, no matter where you are in your business, no matter how big your organization is, how small your organization is, none of that matters. Right now, you all have that capability of being able to go from the zero to a hero. Now, I'm not calling you a zero. Everybody on this call here, if you're here, you, you, you've got a body temperature, you are still alive, you've got hope, you've got a future, you are not a zero. You are definitely already a hero. I'm talking about how to take your business. Maybe your business is at a zero right now, and you want your business to be a hero. So I want you to, first of all, self-identify as a hero. Hopefully, you can look yourself in the mirror because it starts with you. Leadership starts with you. Look yourself in the mirror. Know that you are a hero. And what you start doing is making your activity and your actions chase your self-identity. Okay? Let your activity and your actions chase your self-identity. All too often, that does happen. And what do I mean by that? Is that it does happen that our activity chases our identity the issue is most of us have the wrong identity. Most of us are sitting around saying, woe is me, what's happening with me? I'm not good enough, I'm not tall enough, I'm not short enough, I'm not fast enough, I didn't get in too, uh, too, too early, I got in too early, I didn't get in before this, I got in after that. And so our self-identity is built around so many different excuses and the reasons why things can't happen for us. So what happens is when we have that self-identity, we throw a picture, there's a picture that we have. You gotta remember, ladies and gentlemen, your eyes basically are nothing more than than the representations of what your brain actually believes. Okay, this is why I tell people, what good is it to have eyesight when the mind is blind? So what we gotta do is we gotta change our mind and, and we gotta unblind our mind and we gotta train our mind to see a picture of who it is that we wanna be. Most of us right now, it's so easy to see a picture of somebody else and what they are, why? Because we can look at someone else and we don't understand their entire process. This is why I never, I always tell people, don't ever look at somebody's results or lack of results and base your image on what somebody else is doing. Because you don't know the entire process. You don't know what it is or where it is. I can imagine right now, people looked at me back then when I went from zero to $20,000 a week in, in, in less than 100 days. People were making excuses thinking that it was the company that I had joined. No, it wasn't the company that I had joined. There was a process that I had actually gone through. And once I made the decision, I remember how, what happened. I remember specifically what took place. Erlene was, she, she was there. She witnessed the entire thing. That There was all of a sudden a completely different HP. There was one aspect that completely unlocked where I was, what I was going to become, who I was, and I went, I moved forward and start moving into that. But people on the sideline was thinking, oh, he got a deal. That's why. They put people in his group. That's why. Why? Because they were just moseying along in the same company and not doing much whatsoever. Why? Their self-portrait of themselves didn't self didn't they didn't self identify with a winner? They didn't self identify with the person who's making a hundred thousand dollars a month, or two hundred thousand a month, or even ten thousand dollars a month, or whatever the number was. They self identified with the problem. With the problem, 
And when they self-identify with whatever their problem was, I mean, I, I, can, I can give you another one here. Jackie and Trey, uh, uh, remember when I uh, actually joined a company that they were already in, involved in as well. They were there before me. I came into the company, and what happened is I broke the records while everybody else was sitting on the sideline and doing almost nothing and making all of the excuses for what's happening in the company. What I did is I never I never read the press clippings of what the company was uh, what, the, what they were going through. I knew what they were going through as a company, and why did I join? I joined for one reason and one reason only. It wasn't because of the product or company. And I joined for the leadership and the owner because I was looking for a coach, somebody that I could self-identify, uh, somebody I can identify, who I can I can identify with, who would obviously see where my goals were and lay out a pathway for me to accomplish them. So many people at that time thought the same thing. You can ask Jackie. They thought, oh, Coach gave HB a big deal. They must have gave him this money. They must have gave him these people. No. I self-identified first with what I was going to do. That was when I started my journey of making to make a million dollars a month. That was the time I started my journey, that journey. I was 35 years old when I joined, when I joined that company. And I said, hey, here's the date right now. I'm going to going to get started and and what i'm going to do is i've got a five-year plan until i get to a million dollars a month so i know what i've got to do my very first month i self-identified as the person who was making a who was making a million dollars a month you can do that with any amount of income don't use my number my number was my number because i trained myself to believe that that was possible for me you may not be ready to take on that level of financial uh, 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 blessing or that, that financial responsibility. Maybe you have to self-identify with the person who's making $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month, but it has to be large enough to, to invoke change in you. It has to be large enough to invoke change. What do I mean? Change of behavior. Because remember I said, you must self-identify with where you're going, who you are, and then, you're at, and then your activities will start chasing your self-identity. Well, if you're self-identifying with, with victimhood, this is not only in, in iBoomerang, this is in anything. If you self-identify with being a victim, your activity is going to chase the victim. And what's going to happen? Your activity is going to validate what your self-identity is, okay? When you start looking to the left and looking to the right and seeing, okay, well, why is it over here that, you know, TR can get people started and, 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 and go three or four levels deep like that? I can't even get my first person into the system. Why is it that Boston can go over here and get these people dual team qualified uh, like we're talking about getting done and I can't even get a prospect to, you know, to watch the eye decide. And so what happens is you start looking for all you, here's what happens, whatever your self-identity is, if your self-identity is disbelief, it's not what happens to you that causes disbelief. It is your speech pattern. It is the people you hang around. It is you start recruiting other people who believe or disbelieve like you so that it validates the picture that you're giving yourself. This is why believers typically hang out with other believers. Disbelievers typically associate and they recruit other disbelievers. Believers recruit other believers. Okay? It's hard to find people with strong belief and lack of belief and mix them together. You know, it, it's true in all forms of life. Most people who are very strong, have a very strong religious background, they very seldom hang out with people who don't have a strong religious background. Why? Because I need other people who have my same portion to validate that the way I believe it's accurate. It, it makes me feel safe to know that I've got enough other people in my circle who believe like me, even if it's a pity party. If I have a pity party, as long as I have enough other people who are who are who believe in my pity, I feel comfortable. If I have a belief party, that means that I am excited. 
You know what happens? I start hanging around other people and they start getting excited or they're already excited and it validates my purpose and reason for belief. So what I am telling you right now is that it all starts with your own self-portrait. It doesn't start with, with you know, uh, all of what I call the, the symptoms or the objects of the things that we see. It starts with the, in, in, the internal. If your mind is blind, if your mind is blind to belief, if your mind is blind to success, if your mind is blind to opportunity, it doesn't matter why. Uh, it doesn't matter. So anything that you see, you're going to see the void and and, and and where you are because your mind is blind to what your opportunity. Your eyes can see somebody else and your eyes can see, hey, look, they're winning. That person's winning. That, it must be, you know, it must be something else. No, no. it is sometimes, uh, it is always the self-portrait of what it is that we have. It's the self-portrait of what it is that we have. So being able to take advantage, and I'll tell you a story in a moment here, you can take you can take advantage of it. So when I actually did join that company that Jackie was part of, at that time as, as, as a rep, it was a travel-based company. And I'll be honest with you, I hated travel. I even said that on, you know, when I got my first order, guys, I hate travel. Travel is not a great the way we were doing travel at that time, I love what we have with Igo because Igo is amazing. But the way travel had been done prior to Igo, I couldn't stand travel because there, there was, there was, it was, it was really nothing. Trying to get people to come to my website to book the travel, you know, no. But when I get somebody to go to their own website, it makes a big difference. But what I did is I self-identified with opportunity. Is there an opportunity to to go out and make some things happen? Yeah. Hardest comp plan, uh, probably the second hardest comp plan I ever worked. Okay. It was the coding comp plan. Whereas, you know what? You take your first six people, and your first six people, you don't get paid a lot on, on them. You give them basically to your upline. And your upline on your first six people make all the bonuses off of your first six people. And those first six people that you recruit basically are the money drain for your upline. Well, typically, the most important people you recruit normally Normally, when you're launching, are your first six people. And my upline was making all the money off, off of them. And they saying, you know, I am saying, you know what? I, I went out there and recruited more. And I look at the positive. I never looked at it as, wow, my first six people my upline gets. You know how I look at it? How I look at it? I'm going to go out and recruit 50 people. And in the first six, that's 300 people. I'll receive the bonuses, the biggest bonuses from 300 people. Yes, I gave up my first six. Why? Because I identified with not being a victim. When some people are looking at that and like, this is horrible. I looked at it and says, this is, inc this is, this is uh, incredible. This is incredible. Right? And why? It's the same top line. Two different people having two completely different self-portraits around how to make it work. And I'll talk to you a little bit about how that, why that happened and how you can actually, how are we going to use this blitz? There's several things that I'm going to talk to you about to prepare you. It's not just for the blitz. I'm preparing you for walking into your self-portrait. So the first thing that we're going to do this weekend, ladies and gentlemen, is that we're going to get the self-portrait of being uh, the victor and not the victim. How many of you by uh, in the chat can identify and say, hey, listen, you know what? I am going to identify with the victor in me, not the victim in me. Because both of them, you have the power and choice to identify with either one of the two. You can identify with both. Okay. I'm looking here. Where's my chat? Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. If you're going to identify this week, I don't know why, but my chat's not showing up here. If you're identifying with the victor, okay, put a one in the chat. Let me see if, I, if my thing is working now. I still can't see the comments. I was able to see them earlier. Okay. Anyway, I believe you guys, all right? I believe you. T. Gray, I'm asking you this question here, Mark. Do we have a lot of do we have a lot of victors? You guys can hear me? Yes. Yeah, we do. We've got a lot of victors. Yes. Yes, yeah, we, we do. We we got got okay. So so the number one thing is declare victory over your week. Most of us want to declare victory at the very beginning of the year, 
Why is it that we do it in the very, very beginning of the year? Number one, because it's out of habit. It's out of habit. What do I mean out of habit? At the, we've been trained, every single one of us on this call, we've been trained. You set your goals at the beginning of the year for the new year, and most of us right now are completely off base on our goals. Why? Because that process does not work. It does not work, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm seeing, I'm hearing Mark and Tigre in the background. Okay, there we go. It doesn't work. All right, our, our, the, the way things work now, ladies and gentlemen, is this here. Let me tell you why it doesn't work, because you got an entire year to do it. And here's, also, here's, here's the other thing. If you've got one full year, 365 days to accomplish your goal, do you know what else you have? You've got 365 days to be distracted as well. So you got 365, you got this much opportunity to achieve your goal, but you, time to achieve your goal, but you've got this many opportunities to become distracted. So what happens when we set these yearly goals at the beginning of the year, that doesn't work. You guys hear me say that every year that I don't believe in New Year's resolutions and stuff like that. I believe in making a decision. And once you make that decision, you move into that decision. You move into that decision. So what happens is there's zero accountability for the year. Right now, most of you don't even remember what your goal was for the beginning of the year. You don't even remember. You have to go back to your notes and take a look and say, what did I say specifically that I was going to accomplish by the end of 2024? This is why it doesn't work. It is a programming system that is designed for failure. It is designed for failure. You're like, HB, well, I thought goals were designed for success. They are. But what I'm telling you is the process of New Year's resolution, setting a goal for the beginning of the year, You've got 365 days, 365 opportunities where 16 hours a day that you're going to be up is going to provide opportunities for distractions. So how do I make those goals work? As we say, inch by inch, anything's a cinch. Yard by yard, it's too hard. Now, over here, I know you guys use the metric system, so that may not work for you. Okay. Centimeter by centimeter. Okay. Everything is easier. <laughs> okay. Meter by meter. <laughs> Everything is too hard. So what I'm telling you is, is there's zero accountability there. Well, you know what I'm going to do this show. I'm going to make 300. I'm going to, I'm going to get myself to, to, uh, to, you know, I'm going to make $300,000 this year. And maybe the most money you've ever made has been $50,000, $60,000, But you set this goal, I'm going to make $300,000. So you make a quantum leap goal. And what happens is nobody remembers that you said you're going to make $300,000. So you are comfortable. You are very comfortable missing your goal because there is no accountability. But what if we said we've got a four-day launch and you tell your upline or you tell yourself first. Remember, tell yourself first. Here's what I'm going to do during this four-day launch. launch. I am going to make sure that I have 15 people 15 personally people who's going to experience this launch. Not on the first call, throughout the launch. You probably said, HB, that's not a lot of people. Maybe it's not. But you've got four days to do it. Which means that you can probably focus one day at a time, four days in a row, and the distractions don't enter, which means that there's accountability. And if there's accountability, you can actually become successful. And then once you get this four days done, you set another goal. See, now we're doing it inch by inch. We're not talking about the entire result at the end of the year that you know you're not going to work towards, a goal that you've never seen. You don't even know what it takes to get there. You don't know what the process is to get there. You know what the process is to get to make this launch, this blitz call uh, successful. 
I want you to also know, here's the thing. When you start doing things inch by inch, your belief starts to build. When you do them yard by yard, you have to wait the entire year for your belief to center into a goal achievement. But if I set little micro goals, if I just set 15 people, okay, I start feeling, I, I, I start experiencing uh, success. And that success that I'm experiencing starts to validate the victor that's in me versus the victim that's in me. I'm giving you the secret right now of how you do it. This is what I did. This is how I, this is how I did it. Okay. I always tell people when they have low belief, get base hits. Most people want to make a home run. Most people want to go from no belief to, oh, you know what? I, I sponsor 50 people. You'll never, ever, ever do that. Why? There's no accountability. You don't believe that you can. And everyone that you talk to, they typically identify with your self-identity. Why is it that I can talk to a person, somebody else talk to a person who has no belief, I come right behind and talk to a person, they see a completely different picture. It's because of my belief. It's because of my belief. This is not only in business, guys. I'm telling you this in life. I have couples that I've talked to. They fight like cats and dogs. I want a divorce. I want out. I don't like him anymore. I don't love him anymore. They got low belief in a relationship. They sit down with me. They talk. I believe in each one of them. I don't see the person that each one of them see. And I start representing the picture of the person that I see. The next thing you know, they start following. You know what? You're right. I didn't see that in him. I didn't see that in her. And the next thing you know, they fall in love again. Why? Because I came to represent the victor and all they're able to see is the victim. However, when they go to their girlfriends, family members, or something like that, yeah, you know what? He, he, you know what? He never really did like you. He never really did treat you well. You know what? She never really did treat you like, like she should have treated you. And what happens is they start validating more of that victim. And the next thing you know, that, that person separates so that, that couple is no longer together. You've got to be very careful who you give your, who, who you give exposure or access to your self-identity. Okay. You have to be very careful. But remember, in every conversation that you have with people, no matter what it's about, there's a buyer and there's a seller. They're coming to sell you. They're coming to sell you on their beliefs. And if they've got victim mentality, you're going to buy it. Or you're selling them on victim mentality and they buy yours. There's, got, there's going to be a transaction that, that takes place. So what I do is I make sure that I transact up. I don't transact sideways. I don't, I'm not here with all of these disbelief people and I'm trying to convince them to wear me out. What I do is I create an energy around me of belief so when people get around me, the belief goes up. You have to design yourself to be that. Why? Because these 15 people that you're going to put through the blitz call this coming week, they believe in the opportunity based off of the invite that you give them. What's your tonality on the invite? What's your level of enthusiasm? I don't mean being over giddy and, and foolish or silly. What I'm speaking of is you being, you, you, your, your tonality shares everything. I can talk with somebody and I can just tell, you know what? They don't believe what they're saying. They have they, they don't believe anything of what they're saying. But I can also talk to someone who is who who believes what they're saying. Maybe they haven't accomplished it yet, but they believe. I'm telling you, it's the difference. It changes the entire picture of everything. Okay, of everything. A shinier object to the left or a shinier object to the right doesn't mean better. It just means wow, I am bored. Oh, I am bored trying to develop a self-portrait of Victor. That's typically what happens. So that's why you become trans. It's the same thing in relationships. I'm bored with the same man. I'm bored with the same woman after 10 or 15 years. So the shinier new person seems to be a better option. No, that's not the case. It's just that you now have to design yourself to be the victor in your relationship. I'm bored with this job. No, it's just that your self-identity in that job 
is not a good one anymore. It's the same job, same company, same job, same company, but your self-identity. So I want you to start understanding this as you start to prospect so that you so that you start off the right way and start giving the right energy. Here's what happened for me. I told you the story of me going from zero to $20,000 a week in less than 100 days. How did it happen? I never forget. Uh, I was I had just joined uh, just joined this company, and um, I I joined. I got on a conference call. I was doing the same that I was doing in every other company that I was in. Okay, I was doing the same. Why? My self portrait had not grown at that moment, so my activity was chasing my self portrait to validate that this is where you're supposed to be, HB. This is where you, you're not supposed to be a twenty thousand dollar a week earner. You're supposed to be right where you've been in the last eight years. That's where you're, I mean, that's seven and a half years. That's where you're supposed to be. And guess what? That's where my results were. And the next thing you know, I listened to a conference call that that I listened to half of a conference call, didn't get the content, only got the, the testimonial component. And I remember the CEO introducing the people. And, and I didn't even know that that type of money was available in network marketing, period. From there, I went to a leadership training. I'll never forget, they had a leadership training in Austin, Texas. You guys know the story. I told you about my guy, you know, the, heard me talk about the guy who couldn't speak well. He was from, uh, from um, South Carolina, but lived in Austin, came down to Houston to do a meeting. He put a leadership training together. How did you qualify to, be, to, to go to leadership training, you have to have 10 people on your right, 10 people on your left. I had never done that in network marketing. I had never had 50 people active. I had 50 people on my team uh, the entire seven years. That was my total group, not active. I never had 20 people active in my organization in seven years. But I never identified as a victim. I didn't. I'm being candid with you. I didn't. I got stuck in the how, I got stuck in the looking, I got stuck in the chasing. And what happened is I went to this leadership training and I went to this leadership training right after that conference call. That conference call gave me the bleed. I went out and I put 10 on my left and I put 10 on my right. And I went to this leadership training and he told me about something called ICON. What was ICON? ICON was when you put 500 people on your left, 500 people on your right. And I'm like, that's a thousand people. In seven years, I never did five. I never did fifty. So if I didn't do fifty in seven years, uh, in seven years, how long is it going to take me to put a thousand people in my group? Huh? A thousand people. Let me see. Divided by fifty. It's going to take me twenty years. If I looked at the chronological calculator, it's going to take me twenty years to have a thousand people to have joined my team. And here I had to have a thousand, 500 on my left and 500 on my right to become the icon, uh, to become that rank. And and I never forget that leadership training and that conference call, it released everything for me. I started to know who I was. I started to know how awesome the opportunity was. The opportunity now became completely different to me. My invites were sensational. Same, I was saying the same thing. I didn't change scripts. I take, took the same scripts that I was failing with from the very beginning. I don't want to say failing, but I was growing slow because of my self-portrait, self-identity. I belong in the category of people who don't make $1,000 a month in network marketing. So my activity and my results made sure it caught up with my self-portrait. Once I got on the conference call and I understood the possibilities, next week I'm at a leadership training in Austin. I'm sitting on the front row and... And, and I'm listening to this guy who had a speech impediment, didn't have a high school diploma, uh, stuttered when he talked, and he talked real fast. And this guy, he was a multi, multi-millionaire, and I'm sitting there like, I'm going to kill this now. I, I, am, I am going to kill this. I am going to crush this. And I can remember right now, ladies and gentlemen, sitting uh, and earned my way to the front row. I earned my way to the front row by, well, how? I made sure that when they opened the doors, I was saying my first line. This was not HB that everybody knows now. 
Nobody was holding the seat for me. I didn't have security walking with me. Nobody knew who I was when I pulled up at the, at the event. Here I am. I drove down to that event. I drove and, and I, had a, I had a car full of uh, a car full of people with me, about four people with me when I drove down to that event. Two people, uh, one, one person was offline, one person was in my group, and just another cross-line person. Well, I didn't have a big group. I just put 20 people in. I qualified. Maybe one of my, one of my team members qualified. That was about it. So I go to this event, and I'm listening to this information. And when I listen to this information at this leadership training, what happened was it all released for me. I started to realize, wow, I have always been, I have those qualities that he's talking about. I have those qualities. I, 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 can, I know how to do this. I start, and he start using these different analogies, and, and every story that he told, and every training that he gave released permission in me to say, what, why have I not used what I have? And I remember it was the second day of that leadership training, ladies and gentlemen, the second day I came in on that leadership training, and I remember taking my, I remember taking notes the first day, the second day, I'm even more fired up, and that was sometimes you guys hear me say, some of you in here just tapping your feet, tapping your feet, wondering when the meeting's going to end, and that's what happened with me. That leadership training set me free. I'm tapping my feet, tapping my feet, tapping my feet, tapping my feet. Why? I was ready for him to stop. I was ready for him to stop. Why? Because I couldn't get on the phone and prospect and be at the leadership training at the same time. I had to do. It was only. I only. It was only one. I had to continue listening to the other, to the leader, to the expert. We had maybe about two hundred people total who, had, who was at that event. Maybe two hundred people. I didn't see the two hundred people. That event was for me. I, I I went there and I got a relief and a release. And I'm tapping my feet, tapping my foot because I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. And I remember once the event was over, at that time, I wasn't jumping up celebrating. I wasn't in celebration mode. I wasn't. I, I wasn't, you know, doing all the high fives, walking through. And as soon as that event was over, I stood up out of respect because everybody was standing at the end of the event. I remember it like it was yesterday. As he gave us an affirmation of what we need to be doing so we can come back to the next event at another ring. And I left that meeting at that moment and I immediately went to the conference room, uh, to a conference room. And I, got, I went to a conference room and I probably made no less than 20 phone calls. Why? What better time to start than now? And ladies and gentlemen, I went from 20 people in my organization, okay, 10 on my right, 10 on my left, and in less than, in less than oh, okay. 45 days, I had 500 on my right and I had 500 on my left. I, 20 years worth of work. 20 years worth of, of, of results of what it had taken me seven years to do I would have had to do that seven years 20 different times basically I'm sorry 20 different times I want you to think about that so it's really not 20 years it's 140 years 140 years worth of work. So when you hear us talk about quantum leap and belief, making a small shift, it's real. Okay? It's real. 
And what I want you guys understanding is you can make the same shift. No less than 20 people I call. I remember coming back home and I was and I was and I was telling her lean she was just wondering, you know, she supported me and she was wondering, okay, five, you're going to do 500 on the left, 500 on your right. I'm like, yep, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm not missing this. And I remember getting in my car and I remember uh, the number of people I was calling to, hey, listen, I'm, let's have lunch. I, it wasn't sophisticated. It wasn't, okay, I'm setting up and everything's all perfect and we're going to go to lunch at this nice fancy place and I'm going to, you know, spend... Uh, uh, 80 bucks on lunch so that I could give a presentation. No. No. It was, hey, where are you having lunch? How about this? I'll be over there. Listen, you got you got to know what I know. What time do you have lunch? 1230? I'll see you at 1230. And we're over here maybe at a Popeye's chicken. I didn't eat. I didn't go to eat. What did they notice? What they noticed was this man is on to something. He saw something. I want you to imagine you're in a bit, you're in a crowd. Maybe you're at a shopping mall. Maybe you're at a festival. Maybe you're at a carnival. I want you to picture this right now. I want to show you what happened and what's possible for you. I want you to picture yourself at this festival. A carnival where people are all just minding their own business, focused on what it is that they're focused on, going to, from one ride to the next ride, from one game to the next game, from one uh, food truck to the next food truck, eating their cotton candy, eating their popcorn, eating their corn dogs, riding these right here, playing the games, family, all of this is taking place around you. And there's thousands of people in this festival. How many of the people you think noticed you? Only the ones who were in front of you. How many of the people that if a person who was walking towards you and there's thousands of people and they passed you and somebody came up to that person and said, hey, listen, can you describe the lady who just passed you about two minutes ago? What was her eye color? What was her hair color? How tall was she? What was her skin? You know, uh, what kind of shoes she had? They wouldn't be able to identify you whatsoever. Do you know why? Because you fit in with everybody else. You're just normal. Remember I told you it takes a strong fish to swim against the current. Any dead fish can float along with it. See, when you're floating along with the current, even with belief, nobody notices you. Nobody wants your arms because there's nothing different about you. What happened, I want, to, I want to give this picture here. What happens if you're at this same festival, you're floating along with everybody else, you're walking, tens of thousands of people there, and all of a sudden, you start running. You just take off running, and you're running from place. What happens? Who becomes the focus? You become the focus. Who notices you? Everybody notices you. What are they saying? You don't know, but they're talking. Doesn't matter what they're saying, but they're talking. Who are they talking about? You. Talking about you. How is your business going? Like this? Nobody notices you. This can be at a high level. This can be at a low level. This is nobody notices you. So when you call your prospects, here's what's happening. Every pro I want you to imagine every prospect that you call, you're at the festival. And either you're at the festival like this. 
and they're not, they're not going to recognize any victory in your voice or your running. It's one of two. One of two. You don't have a third choice. There's one of two. I'm walking I'm with the crowd. Or am I just dashing through the audience running? I just take off running. When I take off running, everybody is focused on what did he do? Somebody chasing him? Did he, did he, he see, is there, there's an emergency? And you know what everybody does? They look around to see if they need to run too. Why? Because you're leading with your energy. You're leading with your energy. You could be running from the police. They're still talking about you. They're still talking about you. You could be running towards, you know, a, a, a million dollar uh, prize. They don't know, but they're talking about you. So the question is, what do they hear in your voice? Well, HB, I don't know how to start the fire. Yes, you do. You know how to start it. You start it by what you start speaking. Because most of us, here's what we are. Most of us have put ourselves in a position where we are logs waiting for somebody to light us up versus being the match and starting the fire. HB, if I see enough people running, I'll run with them. You're a log. And some of us are logs. I was a log. I told us that leadership training. I was a log. I was waiting for somebody else to do it while I had never done it before. I didn't, I, I, I just didn't know. But once I went to that leadership training and I'm hearing this guy, no high school diploma, no college education whatsoever, didn't graduate from high school, multimillionaire, I realized I'm the match. I'm no longer, I'm no longer a log. I set the fires. I'm not just a part of it. I set the fire. And every, once I learn that, I'm able to set the fire in everything that I do. I set the fire. That's why when I left that event, I went to a conference room. Why? It was quiet. Majority of people it was continuing to high five, talking about what was going on at that time. I also remember that same day they put an event, they announced the next event. That next event was happening on my 10 year high school reunion. And here I was in high school, I was a prom king. In high school, I was a, the homecoming king. I was both. You know the prom king and the, and the homecoming king has to go back for the very first reunion. I graduated high school in 1990. That's right. For some of you, 1900s. <clears throat> 1990. So, year 2000. I'm coming back. Coming back. And they made an announcement of that event. <clears throat> The following event, which is on my high school reunion. I wasn't a log anymore. So you know what decision I made? I made a decision. I made a decision to be at the event. Why? Because I'm setting fires now. I'm set and not only am I setting fires. I'm setting fires to other logs and I'm teaching these logs. You know what? I'm going to teach you how to set fires. You're not a log. You've been a log long enough. You're a fire starter now. You're the match. You're the match. And you go from being a log, and some of us are wet logs. 
the logs can't be fire, can't be set on fire. It takes some time. You go from log to being a match to being the gasoline. What is the gasoline? The gasoline is the leader who teaches other leaders. So here it was, all the buildup. I'm sure all my buddies expected me to show up at the 10 year reunion. I showed up to get my award because I had done 500 on my left and 500 on my right. 500 on my left and 500 on my right. Ask me how I did it. Does anybody want to know how I did it? Anybody want to know how I did it? Here's how I did it. I left the event, and I called 20, no less than 20 people. I left the event, and I called no less than 20 people. That was the start. On the drive home, because I'm now the fire starter. What do you think we were doing on my way home? Talking about the event, talking about, you know, uh, Kendrick Lamar versus Drake, or making phone calls. You're making phone calls the entire way. Why? There was no better time, no better time to show my, to show people I'm running been right after I just got pumped with the biggest sense of belief that I've ever been built with. And what I did is week by week, week by week, I did the thing. It was just week by week. I wasn't setting all these goals saying what I'm going to earn for the next year. Guess what? That company didn't even last a year. It didn't even last a year. Seven months is how long it lasted. But I, it served a purpose in my life. I got my story there. I got start making money there. But more importantly, I had a leadership training that set me free for the rest of my life. Set me free for the rest of my life. And I, I forgot, it was maybe 1500 dollars $2,000. I don't know what it was, what, it called, what the cost of it was, but it didn't matter. I was going to be there. Why? I didn't have a choice. I, I, I didn't know for a fact it was going to happen like that. Okay, yeah, I, I you know, uh, listened to this conference call. And, you know, I'm only up 400 bucks for the month. And I go to his leadership training. I finished that. I ended up that month $13,000 in income. Had never made that type of money in my life. Couldn't tell you exactly all of the how. I just became, I became a fire starter. And people saw me. They saw me. They saw it. They saw me. They saw me move from here to here to here to here. They saw my energy. They picked up on it. So, so number one thing is decide what your picture is going to be. Number two, don't. I don't want you focused on what you're going to do this year, or what you're going to finish up with this month. What are you going to do in the next four days? How you prepare for it? Why? So, so, so here's the thing. I don't know anybody right now. I've used my entire list. That's victim mentality. That's that's walking along the people. Become a runner. How can I meet 20 people? How can I meet 15 people? How is it that I could possibly meet 15? Do I need to meet all 15 people today? No. If there's, I don't know how many calls we got. We got four days of calls. 
how can I meet, you know, four or five people a day starting today and, and go out and meet, you know, X number of people today and build the pipeline. Whereas by the time I finish, I've got 15 people who listen to the, to the call. And now here's what happens. My belief is starting to build. Why? It's not because they're getting in. It's because I made a decision and people are connecting with me. People are saying, yes, I'm exchanging a phone number. I'm being able to talk to a person. They believe that I'm onto something. Now, it's not up for me to decide whether they join. It's up to me to make sure I introduce myself, get involved, interrupt their flow, be that force to interrupt their flow, whether it's somebody I already know who I don't have them in my phone uh, number now that I need to connect, somebody who I do have in my phone that I haven't talked to uh, about the business. Stop taking their decision personal. It's none of your business whether they join before the presentation begins. That's none of your business. The only thing that you're responsible for is making sure that when you connect with them, that you have your best self-image and self-portrait of who you are represented when you connect with them. That's the most important thing. Now, when they buy into that, when they buy into your positivity, now you allow the, the meeting to do its work. Now you allow those who are part of that schedule to do the work. Once you've done that, the second part that you've got to do is you've got to be prepared for how am I taking these people through the pipeline and what am I going to do with those who come through the pipeline, my 15 people that's going to come through this pipeline. One of the key things that I find, even throughout the tour, one of the common denominators that I saw with multiple people in every market, and I brought it up to some, was most of us, when we got people on to the meeting, the people had an interest, but they don't know what to do. And, and so we were so casual about the next step. You are the leader to lead the prospect to the next step. What do I mean? Hey, you know, they saw the call, and sometimes what we're waiting for is them to say, okay, yeah, I want a CEO pack. That's not always happening. What they're saying is they saw a great presentation. They don't know. They've never signed up in network marketing before. They don't know that they're supposed to do it today. They don't know if they're supposed to do it next week. They don't have this mentality, most of them. The leaders do. Hey, listen, I'm ready. I'm ready to go right now. How do I sign up? That's not it. Just because they don't say that doesn't mean that they're not a great prospect. So what you've got to do is be intentional. Have a process that's not personality driven, but systems driven. Once they've seen the opportunity, now at that moment, listen, you've got to have a process for them. Am I going to be calling them after the call? This is what I was doing after my, because we were doing launch calls back then as well. But we weren't doing Zooms because we didn't have this technology. We only did conference calls. Whereas they can hear the opportunity, they couldn't see slides or anything. We'd have to speak and they joined because of what they heard, not because of what they heard and saw. So calling, you know, so, so I'm calling Mark back. Hey, Mark, hey, Mark, exciting stuff, wasn't it? I'm not calling back, Mark. Mark, what you think? What you think is excited stuff, wasn't it? I'm a runner. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. He doesn't know if it's exciting, or sometimes they don't know if it's not exciting. They just know that they hurt something. Sometimes it hit, strikes the court, sometimes it doesn't. Don't expect your presenter to be the magic. Your process is the magic. This is why I can have people who are not as flamboyant or not as energetic as I am presenting, but they can have the same level of success. Why? Because it's not the presentation that gets them in, it's the process. The presentation lets them know what, the, what process they're going to be getting involved in. Presentation is details. Mark, that was exciting, wasn't it? Yep. Let me ask you a question, okay? If, if, if we were to put you through and, and work with you together, my team and myself, now remember, I'm brand new. I'm, I'm two days in the business. 
Mark, if my team and I were to actually select and work with you, and there's a lot of people that you saw on that call, and I can't even guarantee you that we'll, that we'll give you that time. But if we were to give you isolated time, what type of income would you like to see in the next, you know, o o over the next 30, 60, or 90 days? I'm not going to ask them to help me, you know, to repeat what they just saw. What I'm going to, I'm selling the, got to remember, ladies and gentlemen, anytime you're in sales, stop selling the details and sell the solution. Sell the dream, not the details. What type of income would you like to see if we were to work with you? And, and I'll, I'll have to make sure I get with, you know, with, with uh, some, of my, you know, one of my team partners, maybe even uh, the, you know, the lady who did the presentation, Jessie, who did that presentation, I'll get with her and, and, and see because her schedule's real busy. But if she was to work, me and her were to work with you specifically, and she's created a lot of successful people, but if we were to work with you specifically, what type of income would you like to see coming from this over the next 30, 60, 90 days? See, how, did you know that you can say that as a person who's been involved in the business two days? It, it, you don't have to have been involved in the business, ladies and gentlemen, for two years and be a black diamond to be able to say this. You're using the credibility of someone, attaching yourself to the credibility. They know you got the plug. They know you're connected. You wait for their answer. Whatever that answer is, great. All right, I love to make about five grand a month. You know what? That's, that's awesome. Okay, that's awesome. And, and, and I know for a fact we can do that because, you know, in our system, Desi, what she's done before, she's got several people that she's helped get to that particular level. She's got a, she's got a dynamic duo and her brothers to um, do some brands down there in Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and help them reach one of the most prestigious levels in our company. And obviously that was way more than $5,000. So we could do that for you as well. I'm giving confirmation. My next thing on, on that call is, this is my process. For that $5,000 a month, let me ask you a question. Uh, would you be willing, you know, to be teachable, coachable, and trainable? What I mean by that is this. In, in a system, obviously not an expert at networking, but my team and I are. This is what we do. This is, this is specifically what it is that we do and we're great at. There's going to be a couple of things we share with you, a process of how to get there. And we just want to make sure that you're able to follow instruction and follow coaching. If you can do that, we have a great chance, a great opportunity to get there and take some other people with you. That's something you can do. Great. For five grand a month, would you be willing to put together a list so we can really launch you the right way, kind of like I had you on my list? Would you want to put together a list, you know, of, uh, of, of people that we can that we are going to actually do the meeting for? We're not going to, you're not going to sell them. We're not going to sell them. We're going to offer an opportunity. Some won't, some will, but many of them will be able to move on to the next level. Would you be willing to do that for five grand a month? Yeah. Now, obviously, um, you know, this is going to require a little bit of time. I know right now you're running a successful company. That's why I called you. I didn't call you because I figured you had, you know, 60 hours a week to work because it doesn't take that. I called you because you understand the art of time multiplication and time compounding. So what's going to be, what, what I'm going to need from you at the very beginning is somewhere in the neighborhood of 10, 15, maybe 20 hours a week on your own schedule. So over the next 90 days, we can start getting you paid and getting you results on on maybe 100, 2, 3, 400 hours of, of productivity a week from the team that we built. Will that make sense to you? you getting paid off 400 hours versus just 40. Yeah. Now, you know, uh, I'm speaking to you right now from a leader, um, and there was three different packages that we had, obviously the affiliate, the executive, and the CEO pack. The CEO pack obviously gets you to that goal much faster, twice as fast from an income standpoint. That's the other packs. Can we go ahead and get you started on that CEO pack? Well, I need to think about it. Okay. Of course, I can understand that. Is Let me ask you a question. What parts of it do you need to think about? How much money you want to make or how fast you want to get there? I'm teaching them what to think about. I'm not going to ask him what do they want to think about. I'm going to tell him, Mark, what he wants to think. Mark, I understand that. I do too. The most common things that most people are lo looking to accomplish is, you know, how much money they want to make and how soon are they going to get there. 
which of those two is it that you're thinking about? I, I and then from there, you know, I I continue my process. I'm going, my 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 goal is for them to be end up being a customer, an ambassador, or a referral. Is my heart broken when they say, I don't know if this is something I want to do? No, it's a part of the process. If you don't get no's, that means you don't have a process. That means that you're only picking, trying to pick people who you think are going to say yes, and that's a slow process. You, 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 you perfect your process, not your pitch. You, you can mess your pitch up as long as your process because everybody have this process of taking people through the process once they've been exposed to the business. Mark says, hey, listen, you know what? Can I, is there an upgrade possibility? Yes, there is, Mark. Uh, let's get you started at the executive pack. Here's what we'll do here. You know, um, one of the things that I want to do is, is, is really show you how to, how to start the way I started. And our team, our team is really, really keen on getting people results right away. Let me ask you a question. Um, would it make more sense for you to make money later or make more, make money now? Okay, well, great. Here's what I'd like to do here. Over the next um, week here, I want to set up. I'm going to set up an exposure for you Tuesday, Thursday, which day is better? Let's just say here we'll set up a goal to make two, three hundred, two to you know anywhere between two to five hundred bucks just by simply doing a conference call, or just by simply gathering a few of your people at the house, whatever restaurant. Oh, Tuesday works. That's great. Next question. If I could show you how to take 500 and turn it to 2,000 in your first month, would that be worth it? Yeah. So what we'll do is I'll book out the next three Thursdays, the next three Tuesdays after that as well. So now I've got four meetings booked. Well, my prospect, don't, they don't want to go fast. It's because they're, they, they're looking at your self-portrait of how the business works. They don't want to follow somebody who's walking just like them. I might as well walk my. I might as well walk at my own tune. They want to follow someone who's running. And when I finish that process, I've got two people going through who's on the first call. I'm, I'm doing the same thing with two people. I've got Desi on standby. Whoever my top one is, I got him on standby. I got Darren on standby. Jake's sitting over there on standby. Bobby's on standby. Next person I talk to. I do the exact same thing. Hey, listen, um, here's what we'll do here. You know, I, I know right now that there's a couple of things that you want to consider. No problem. I completely understand that. Uh, there's a lot of things going on. I'd love to work with you. Uh, why don't we do this here? Okay. Uh, let's just say here, 24 hours. Uh, can we get back together um, uh, and, and, and schedule something uh, to answer more of your questions? I've been working with one of my, my um, with one of the top leaders of the company. His name is Avinash. And Avinash told me that if I found somebody who's got the type of background that you would have, somebody who's, you know, that we believe could, could, could really do big things, he, he'd take 15 minutes of his time to answer any questions and show you how to get started fast. So I know today's on Tuesday. Um, let's just say here, can we do that uh, Wednesday or Thursday, tomorrow or Thursday, which day would be better for you? That will give you a couple days, you know, to think about. I don't want to take too much time. Obviously, this is a short presentation, or a thirty-minute presentation. Four days will probably you'll probably have forgotten everything. So let's do this while it's hot. And if this if this is going to work for you, we'll choose we'll be able to work for you. It's launched. But let's do that, and we'll we'll know that by Thursday whether we're going to be working together, or whether we're not. No commitment from you and neither from us. Let's just go through the process. Okay, great. There's still pressure on the team. They don't feel pressure. They feel why wow, he's running. If I'm begging them for a time, I ain't running. I'm chasing them. And I take them through this process, and I'm doing it over and over and over again. And it's not only how many people did I put through. I got my two people that was on the first, the first they saw. Because I'm also prospecting, who do I have on, how many do I have on the next call? So now I'm, I'm, I'm now going to be booking some of my people and having them put people on their call. I mean, on the next call, and the next call, and the next call, and the next call. 
That's how you take advantage of a blitz call. Stop worrying about who's going to give the best presentation. It doesn't matter. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. If you don't have a great process, nobody's going to join. Okay? You got to perfect the process, not the pitch. Perfect the process, not the pitch. How does it start? It starts with you. Are you committed to be on the call? If I don't have anybody in prospect, should I be on the call? I don't have anybody listening in. Yes, you should. You gotta remember this. When you don't have a guest, the call needs you. When you have a guest, you need the call. What if it was a time that you had five guests and nobody else had guests, but nobody showed up and it was only you and your five guests and you told everybody you got a blitz call? That wouldn't, that wouldn't be too good. Wouldn't be too good. So show up on the call. Listen to listen to what's happening. Listen to the verbiage. Listen to the, the flow. Listen to what's what's actually taking place on the call so that, that way you get as much information as possible. You become better. You build your belief. Get one person, then a second, then a third, then a fourth, then a third. Don't start off by saying I'm gonna put 50 people through the call. There's no accountability there. Can you do your 15 is the goal? Over 40 period of time, out of 15 people that you put on the call, can you take all 15 through the process? And how many people in your organization are going to take people through the through the calls? Because some of you have already decided, oh, I'm only going to put people on Darren's call. I'm only going to put people on Jake's call. I'm only going to put people on, you know, on Jay, on Jay's call. You, you think this is about personality. It is not. It's about process. It's about the process. Well, my person joined and, and you know, my person says they only want to learn how to trade. Ladies and gentlemen, here's what I want you to understand here. Okay. Honey, do me a favor. Uh, I need the, uh, the battery charger here. If you don't mind. Uh, yeah. You know, the um, our battery thing that we have. Because my battery is about to die. I want you to know that have be opportunity driven. I, I'll ask you a question. Let me ask this question. And I, I, I do want some information. How many of you who've had new people join the company have had your new people take their 50 uh, 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 customer prospects, had your people to take their customer pros prospects and, and got them and, and got them people registered on either side. I mean, no, not on either side, on iGo. That costs nothing. Okay? It, it's, it's a way of keeping people engaged. It's a way of, of building the success of, of having people have small steps to, to success. Small steps towards success is what people want. You're building a business. You're not trying to build, you're not trying to build experienced traders. You build the business and then the products that we have are designed to enrich and enhance their life. Okay. The products that we have. I go, guys. I want you to remember, just on I go alone with from a product standpoint, all right, that was the first year of our company. I'm not telling you to only pitch I go. I'm not telling you to pitch only um, Elevate or Trade Buddy. What I'm saying is you're, you're bringing people towards an opportunity. Start solving their problem instead of coaching or pitching features and benefits. Features and benefits. You're not selling an iPhone. The reason you upgrade to the new iPhone is for features and benefits. Well, you know, the camera is going to be, and it's, and we all stand in line for the same stupid phone because they said that you, you've got 25 more pixels. 
And that's a, and we know, start selling solutions. People want money. People want opportunity. And let them decide what product they're going to do. Your goal is to be a leader and lead them to duplication and lead them to residual income. Well, I'm not going to make a lot of money if they they get people started on I side. You're not going to, I mean, on, on I go, you're not going to make a lot of money if you don't get them in either. You get them in. What's I go, number one, is going to build their belief. They got them five customers or 20 customers, whatever it is. Next thing you know, that customer travels, goes somewhere, they see a check, they're excited. It's, it's a belief builder. It's a belief builder. Understand the process of what you have here. It's, just, it's, it's no different with, with trade, but your elevate as well. So I'm just sharing with you, stop focusing on features and benefits. Focus on the big picture. Solve the issue. Solve the problem. You want to sell this? You want to sell this iPhone here? How do you sell the iPhone? To a person who doesn't have a phone. They don't know anything about phones. You're going to start telling them about a camera. You're going to start telling them about storage. You're going to start telling them about the battery life. Hey, listen, this battery is going to last you all day long. The camera, listen, crystal clear pictures. Oh, it's lightweight. It weighs 50% less than the, less than the last phone. The display is crystal clear. It's made of glass this time. You know what? If you drop it, you can't break it. If you put it in the water, it's still going to work. That's what some of you are doing. Instead of saying, man, let me share something with you. Have you ever been in a situation where your, your daughter, your son, or your husband is across town and you needed to connect with them? With this device here, all you do is you press a phone number that they have and instantly you can connect with them. And whatever emergency you have, you can make sure you solve the problem. Distance will no longer be a factor in your life when it comes to your loved ones. That's what this device, called mobile phone, does. You think they care about the picture? You think they, no, you solve the problem. You solve the problem. Sell the solution. This is why I find out what people are looking for. Hey, Robert, do you remember when you were telling me that um, one of the biggest things to use that you really wanted to, you want to start investing more in, in the, you know, real estate and flipping homes and stuff like that? And you told me you hadn't done it because, you know, there's not enough money. <clears throat> Uh, for you know, saving enough money at the start. I found a way that you can start flipping homes over the next six months. How? Listen, I've got some friends of mine. Here's what we've done. We have actually put together a system. And this system is designed to start producing repeat revenue within 30 days and can be enough to finance your entire real estate portfolio of getting started. What is it about? Thursday, 7 o'clock, or Tuesday, 7 o'clock, we are actually going to be taking some of our um, people and we're going to be doing a conference call explaining the dynamics of what this business is and how to tap into that cash flow. Can you cancel what you've got doing and be on that call? Because this right here can be the first step of your new real estate business. Did I sell network marketing? No, I solved this problem. This problem is he doesn't have enough money to invest. I boomerang is going to come and show him how to get income coming in. When he comes to the presentation, he's seen I boomerang opportunity as a way to get the money to do his real estate business. That's how you sell the business. 
that's what you do. Solve the problem, sell the solution. You sell the solution and put people through the process. Stop selling network marketing. Stop selling trading. Stop selling travel. Sell solutions. And, you know, prices have actually gone up so much. That's why I haven't traveled a lot. You know, I've looked at hotels and stuff like that. Prices have gone through the roof. Let me ask you a question. If you had access up to 70% off on the prices that you're seeing, would you travel more? Yeah. I got something for you. Well, what is it? I'm actually um, working with a team of people right now, and I'm tied in and connected at the highest level. What we do is we show people how to access and become a part of a, um, of a specialized organization where they can get up to 70% of their travel. There's people all over the world. We've actually helped people save over right now over $110 million in savings. I can't explain all the details to you right now. There's an opportunity attached Tuesday. We're going to be doing a conference. Don't say we're doing a blitz call. Stop, stop telling a prospect you're doing a blitz call. Tailor the opportunity to what your prospect wants, not what the network marketing jargon is. Seven o'clock, we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, there's a few lines that I have available, but I have a, a pretty big list of people that I'm going to be talking to. But I, I thought this could be a solution to the problem that, that uh, you were talking about. Seven o'clock, I'll get you to call. You, can you commit to be there? Because I don't want to get, I don't want to have a line empty when I can have it full. Sure. Give them the line. I send them the link. If you have, I, I you rank up, send them your rank up link so you know whether they're there, whether you're there. You don't have to be chasing them. You don't know whether they got on the call. You'll know how many people in your group got on the call. This is why we have all of this together. Sell the solutions. Stop selling features and benefits and getting confused. Sell solutions. And so this week, ladies and gentlemen, okay, this week here, it's huge. Let's make this week count. Let's make this week count. All right. T-Great just actually showed you guys uh, earlier uh, about the, the even the trade by results. Some of you trying to sell trading, sell results. Hey, listen, I want to teach you how to become the world's greatest trader. No, let them figure that out on their, on their own. Let them figure that out on their own that that's what they want to do. You're trying to pick what they should actually want. It doesn't work. Hey, listen, you know what, man? I know you're talking about you're a little short on income. Uh, We've got a system that met on a weekly basis. Here's what we're doing right now. Okay. Uh, what I did is I took $1,000. And on a weekly basis, man, you know, and you figure out what $1,000 and the lot size that you use in your mind, how many pips would that be if you got 1,000 pips for the week? You know what, man? Uh, we got a system right now that's, you know, pretty much 80, 85% foolproof. It's really producing, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of around $500 to $1,500 a week. Can be more than that, depending on, you know, you're not telling them about lot size and pips. Don't use lot size, pips, trading, 4X, but no. Their problem is money. There's a gap between where they are and where they need to be. Your job is to fill that gap. What is it that we have that fills the gap? We have a money producing machine that can fill the gap. Don't, don't try to, listen, you can sell sizzle all day long to somebody else and it, it, it lasts just a short period of time, but you got to sell, I mean, you, you sell the sizzle, the sizzle is the results. Don't sell features and benefits and try not to stop selling network marketing. It's not that we're embarrassed about network marketing, don't hold that back. Sell, listen, you solve the problem. Figure out how to solve the problem. Put the people through the process. Put the people through the process. And last, ladies and gentlemen, after this call, you should know the value. 
of a leadership mastermind. Okay. I shared it with you, my story. What happened with me? I was ready. I put myself in the room and I didn't even know what was going to take place in that room. But I, I, I ventured to think, what if I had not been in that room? If I had not been in that room, what would life be like if I had not been in that room? Don't ever look at the cost of an event. Look at the cost of not going. When you're ready to be the leader, when you're ready to stop being the wet wood, the wet log, just the log, when you want to be become the match, you want to become the fire starter, you want to be become the gasoline. This event is going to be about how you move from becoming the log to becoming the match. From becoming the log to becoming the match. And what did it do for me? I went from becoming the log. I became the match. And I was at $20,000 a week in less than 100 days. Same company. It was the same comp plan. The only thing that was different was me. I challenge you. Become the new you. You deserve to be the match. Love you guys. T. Gray, Mark, you guys are incredible. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you. Thanks for all the diamonds chiming in and all the comments. And those of you, my, my computer's running a lot slow, so I won't see them all. Love you guys. Right back over to you, T. Gray, Mark. Man, fire, 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 as always, sir. We knew you were going to bring. You got to come back real quick because we're about to wrap this call. We got to take a picture. That's our that's our tradition. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. We got all right. So, so, so nothing nothing to add. I just want to encourage everybody. Uh, you know, if you got team members in a different time zone that weren't on, make sure they watch this so we can have a massive week next week. And we will have our HB system coaching call tomorrow very, very briefly. All right, let's go for the picture. You ready? On three, two, one. Mr. Bugs, you got to pose. <laughs> the picture. <laughs> All okay. right, here we go. On three, two, one. <laughs> I'm here. And yeah. Let's go big next week. All right. Bye, everybody. Happy Love you, ambassadors. <laughs>